We're at PGM Reball in Hinkley, Leicestershire. Now these guys are known for their sales and service of ball screws, but we actually have one of the world's leading experts on ball screws. Thank you for letting us join you today. Now, talk us through this, please. Uh, this is what we call an integrated ball screw. Uh, is a combination of a, a ball screw and spline. Uh, the spline are currently is made by a Japanese company called NB Linear Systems, and the ball screw is our own manufacture. It's all designed and manufactured in house. Uh, the whole unit is fully stainless steel and is, is resistant against corrosion. And this product goes, the final product goes to one of our customers in Germany that slices, that, that manufactures machine tools which slice uh, food such as sliced bread, cheese, so for the slicing machine. So your design gives it a lot more accuracy, is that? Uh, it gives in terms of the position accuracy, a lot more accuracy and it's also very lightweight and, and easy to, to work because effectively all the company needs to do is to take our product put it in their own stainless steel box, put the motor on and the electronics, and there you go. Uh, originally, they, the, the actuators they used to put, the slicing actuators, they used to put on the machines, very between three to four slicing units. Uh, but with my design, they've managed to go up to 12. So, so this is a lot smaller than the previous designs. Yes, and also a lot faster and a lot more compact and also a lot more accurate because the, because the uh, ball screw itself is quite precision. Right, so the screw, put the screw here and internal workings here have all been lapped, is that right? Yes, the ball screw is ground uh, and the, obviously the ball nut is ground, yeah. uh, but we also lap to a mirror finish. Uh, that gives you the ability for the ball screw to have hardly any axial play so hence the position accuracy is always contained. But with a mirror finish, it reduces the friction just a little bit. So they can, we can put a, a very stiff a preloaded ball screw, but actually moves quite easily. So a very low torque motor on that to make it? Then they, the customer is able to use a very, very small, light, high speed motor it doesn't need to be a brake or high torque motor to do it, which makes it more expensive and also heavier. Uh, what about the flexibility in terms of this axis here? Because now, this is part of the design. By the time this finishes, we, we re-grind the ball nut to the same diameter as the spline shaft, and then we extend the grooves all the way to the end. So at the moment, the stroke of this linear act, uh, this integrated, is from there to there, but by the time we finish it, there will be another 50 millimeter of movement. So effectively, they have a, a unit which is not only compact in size, but also compact in length to do the same amount of um, uh, slicing actuation. So that makes it a lot more efficient and they reduce uh, wastage on their product. Yes. And also the, the, the next stage we are at at the moment is to get away with a groove spline. And we are, we are in the process of designing our own uh, spline system, which what we call a grooveless spline. So you will have the ability of a spline that is, no, has, is resistance against torque or, or bending moments or, or radio movements but with no groove. And this is particularly interest for food industry and industries that the dirt at the moment can get into the grooves. With a, with a grooveless system that we're developing, there is no need for keep wiping the grooves and reduces the complexity okay. uh, to, to get the dirt or what we call the remains of the food away. Hence it will last a lot faster a lot longer and also simplifies uh, the whole unit and we can actually put the ball screw change it to a, a, an, a, an actuator with the lead screw system. Right so from this design and um, you've done a number of different ones for different industries so can you name a couple of industries? 
Uh, this one goes to Germany. Yeah. Um, the so this is for food. Leather. Yeah. Uh, we're doing two more designs. One is for uh, aircraft industry, which okay. I can't name the, the customer, but that's for the landing gears, which uh -huh. is the, at the very early stage of development. And one is for oil industry, a company in Scotland for robotic welding. And the integrator we've developed for them is actually a, a quarter to the size of this. This diameter is 16 millimeter. The one we've designed is eight millimeter ball screw. And the spline shaft is a lot shorter and a lot smaller. And that is at the moment being tested. Uh, are the prototype. That's really interesting insight, Betty. So what you're saying now is, from your designs, it's quicker, more efficient, and more accurate. And also, it's a lot more, uh, 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 more simplistic in terms of assembly, because you don't need to have a complex assembly system to put your ball screws, your linear guide, make the whole actuator. With this, all they do is put in the prefabricated um, actuator box, lock it, load the motor for the belts, uh, come with it, and there you go. So it's, it's a very simple, so you actually, all the, the complexity is built within this mm -hmm. design, but it makes it simpler for assembly. You make it sound very, very simple, but it's a fantastic piece of equipment. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for the insight.